Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, simplify this expression um, by rationalizing the denominator by multiplying by the conjugate. So the main important thing is we first need to understand you know, why we're doing this. We're, we want to, what we're, our idea of this is to get rid of our square root of 3. So to do that, I need to multiply by the square root of 3 um, times the square root of 3 to get rid of um, the square root, because the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is equal to the square root of 3 squared, which is just equal to 3. But the problem is, if I just multiply by the square root of 3 on the top and bottom, I got to apply the square root of property in the bottom, so I'm always going to have a square root of 3. So therefore, we choose the conjugate, which is 5 minus the square root of 3. And I multiply 5 minus the square root of, um, 5 minus the square root of 3 on the top, and I multiply that on the bottom. So now, the next thing I need to do is go ahead and apply my distributive property. So I'm going to multiply 5. Uh, let's do the numerator first. 5 times 5, and then 5 times the negative square root of 3. Well, 5 times 5 is equal to 25. And 5 times negative square root of 3 is going to be negative 5 times square root of 3. Now, that's going to be over here. You can see is the difference of two squares. But if you kind of forget the difference of two squares, I will show an example. Because I think for the majority of my other videos, I am not going to show um, all of this work. But here, I can just apply FOIL first. Outer, inner, last. So 5 times 5 is going to be 25. 5, five times negative square root of 3 is going to be um, <laughs> negative 5 square root of 3. Um, square root of 3 times 5 is going to equal to positive 5 square root of 3. And square root of 3 times negative square root of 3 is just going to be a negative square root of 3 squared, which is just going to equal to 3. All right, so now you notice that negative 5 squared of, negative five square root of 3 and 5 squared of 3, those add up to 0. So I'm basically just left with 25 minus 3, which is equal to 22. So I can put that over there. And then lastly, I want to determine, you know, can my 22 um, divide into either of those terms, which no, it does not. But I always want to rewrite this as 25 over 22 minus 5 squared of 3 over 22. And I cannot simplify any further, so that is going to be my final answer. Thanks.